Hello everyone, Pure Skills 86 here. It's been a while. Uh, I've been pretty busy working all the time. Uh, I'd like to talk about two games that I played recently. I've had time to play recently. Uh, the first one's Resident Evil 5, and the second one is Mirror's Edge. Anyhow, Resident Evil 5 was pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say it was anywhere near as good as Resident Evil 4. I didn't like the characters as, as much. Uh, I felt there wasn't a, as many special characters, I guess, as there was in 4. And I kind of just liked the story better in 4, even though the story sucked. I actually kind of just liked the characters better. Um, the quick time events were better. Uh, the inventory system was better in 4. I like the merchant. I don't know why they got rid of him. He was awesome. Uh, the aiming system relatively stayed the same, which made Resident Evil 5 pretty good and playable. You know, other than the action in Resident Evil 5, I think everything else is better in 4. Like, even the treasures were. And pretty much just everything. It's not as good as 4, but 5 is still a lot better than a lot of the other games that are out there right now. So, if I was to tell anyone to pick it up, I would tell them to go pick it up. Oh yeah, there's another thing that bugged me. The AI was fucking retarded. I was playing through on Pro, and I got stuck at spoilers, so don't listen if you don't want to for the next 5 seconds. Get stuck at the part where you fight Wesker and Jill, and my AI keeps dying in like one hit, and I don't know what to really do except for go find someone to play with online. Speaking of online, apparently the multiplayer wasn't added into the game. You get to pay for it, but who's really gonna fucking do that? Nobody. So yeah, Resident Evil 5. It's pretty good. Um, if you're expecting it to be better than 4, you probably will be disappointed, but. It's a lot better than a lot of the other gay shit out there. And then I played Mirror's Edge, and the only complaint I have about Mirror's Edge is it's too short. Way too short. I probably beat it in less than, probably just over five hours, if that. It's uh, nine chapters, it's a free running game, but honestly everything's really good about it. The controls are good, uh, the music's good, and actually go through the whole game without even killing a single person so I find that kind of neat it's a, a game for all those non-violent people out there I mean you get shot at and stuff but you don't necessarily have to kill anyone else um, yeah I actually really enjoyed it and I can't really complain about it so if you want a game with good controls uh, an interesting concept and great music, then you should go pick it up. I just downloaded the Fallout 3 stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I'm gonna be going away for three months to go see my girlfriend. So, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any videos, I prob probably will, but I don't know if I'll be able to shrink them to the size that I want in order to upload to YouTube. And, hold on a sec. I had some questions, but I think I'm just going to make a second video. And because that's all I really wanted to talk about lately, I haven't really played a lot of video games, though I've wanted to. I'll probably do it on my uh, vacation. So I hope everyone is all right, and I know summer vacation's coming up, and I hope everyone is gonna enjoy it. And now I'm gonna go make the second video because there's a bunch of questions I asked on. The site I go to is called Blue Diamond Clan. If you uh, want the website address, it's uh, www.bdcgamer.com. And 
you can find a bunch of other fellow gamers there. It's mostly uh, Nintendo Wii players, but there's a lot of people on there that own an Xbox 360, and it's pretty good fun if you want to join. But yeah, I'm going to ask these a bunch of questions because they're doing a podcast and nobody's going to answer them, so I figure I'm going to answer them. So that'll be the next video. See y'all later.